draconian, sexist, archaic. Just a few words used to describe the ban on women driving in Saudi Arabia. Words that won't need to be used anymore. At the stroke of the midnight hour on Sunday, women took to the streets in their cars, sitting in the driver's seat, not behind it. Here are some of their stories. <laughs> As midnight struck and Sunday began, the streets of Saudi Arabia witnessed joyous scenes like these ones. Women celebrating their long fought for right to drive in the kingdom. Among them was Majdolin Al Atik. She hit the streets of Riyadh in her Lexus in the first minute of June 24th, driving across the city to visit her family. It looks way different from the back seat. <laughs> Uh, I'm just, I'm just so happy, <laughs> like, my eyes is just like everywhere, you know, I'm not used to this. Majdolin's desire to drive might have been inherited. Her mother and her aunt Fozia al Bakr were among the 47 women who drove through Riyadh in November 1990 to protest the ban on women driving. Bakr was arrested, lost her job, received death threats and eventually had to change homes. Today, she's a happy woman. So I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. I am so happy that, you know, um, our society and our leaders reach this point where, you know, they're driving. But it isn't just women that are celebrating this new beginning. Clinical psychologist Samira Al Ghamdi's son accompanied her to work on Sunday. The difference this time was that she was driving herself on a route she's been taking for the past 21 years. It's a very exciting day. I think it's, it's amazing. As you said, it's a monumental day. I think that uh, people are realizing that it's just another day in terms of how day-to-day -day activities and everything going on. The difference is just today your mom's wife's sisters are in the cars around us and not just us driving. So. Even Saudi billionaire Prince Al Walid bin Talal got into celebration mode. An early advocate for women's right to drive, he jumped into the car as his daughter drove through Riyadh shortly after midnight. His grandchildren in the back seat. يشكر الملك سلمان الله يطول عمره ولا شك انه افكار الاخوين محمد بن سلمان هي لدت النتيجه العظيمه هذه المراه الان انطلقت وضعت حريتها الحمد لله رب العالمين The reform was considered sweeping when it was announced by Saudi Arabia's maverick crown prince Mohammed bin Salman but its success will lie as much in implementation as in acceptance in a largely traditional and patriarchal society even so the movement forward has already begun. Bureau Report, we on.